let me be nuanced about this particular question. If somebody says to me, I do not want to be trading with uh, a power that is invading other countries, I respect that. Do I think it's going to work? Absolutely not. We can see that it hasn't worked. Yes, the sanctions are very harsh and more effective than many of us expected them to be, especially the cutting off of the Central Bank of Russia from the international dollar-based payment system. That was, you know, that was a very bold move by the West and one that will have repercussions, but let's not get stuck into this. Uh, the point I'm making is this. It is going to have a very negative impact on the Russian people. But I don't believe that Vladimir Putin cares about the, the, the Russian people that much. Mm -hmm. It's going, going to have no effect on him. You can see the value of the ruble has bounced back because Russia, as we speak, as a result of these sanctions, is experiencing the greatest mm -hmm. current account surplus in its history, $250 billion. Because, you know, when, when, they, when they're not importing due to the sanctions and they keep exporting energy, you know, of course they're going to have a surplus. So the regime is not going to be impacted at all. Europe will come out of this conflict as the continent or the economic bloc, let's put it that way, with the he heaviest price that it has paid. Uh, not in terms so much of uh, deaths. Yes, the Ukrainians are suffering very badly. But um, I see the European Union as a whole emerging out of this conflict as more divided and fragmented, poorer, much, much poorer, and far more reactionary. Uh, remember, once upon a time, we had hopes of a proper European Union where, you know, we would have a common defense policy, a common foreign policy. None of this is happening. All we have is um, European governments are being beaten into submission by Washington, D.C. They are forced to follow uh, the lead of Washington when it comes to armaments, when it comes to expanding NATO. Um, there is no European Union defense. You put together the words European defense and policy and you end up with a joke. And uh, if you combine that with the fragmentation of our economies and the serious impact on uh, um, you know, the, the capacity of the European Union to reproduce its economic model, I believe that the European continent is going to come out very wounded out of this conflict.